Hey everybody, G Weber, G Weber Arts here. We're in the studio today and uh, I'm doing a little bit of inking. Um, just a fairly simple project. So I thought I'd share a little bit of that with you while I'm working on it. Um, and towards the end, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing and what I'm doing it with. All right, see you in just a minute.
Okay, so just briefly, um, this is a uh, cherry pop tart piece. Um, I'm working on a vellum surface. Uh, this is a, a Cranston paper. Uh, apparently my video camera is a little heavy for my lamp, so I'm going to pull that right now. As we're still recording. Okay, so as you saw, my lamp uh, failed to hold up my cell phone. Uh, I don't know, I was just too lazy to go out to the garage and get the tripod. That was stupid of me. Anyways, I'm lucky it didn't ruin the drawing by landing on the brush while I was working. Um, so I'm going to show you Cherry uh, now that it's finished. And uh, we're going to just go over what I used briefly. Because uh, I don't think I mentioned much of it before the crash. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at that in just one second. Alright, now that we've gotten past the lamp crash and uh, Cherry is pretty much done. We're going to take a look at her here. I still need to erase all the pencil lines and whatnot. And uh, there's a few little white highlights I need to put in. And maybe a few other little tiny things here and there. But overall, she, I think she's pretty much finished. So while we're looking at Cherry here, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the tools I use uh, in this particular illustration and um, and on several others, but um, let's just do that, okay? So a lot of times when I'm doing these pieces, I'll do like a little sketch. I'll do sketches and whatnot. Uh, a lot of you guys probably already know that, and uh, some I'll just pencil stuff up or you know use a ballpoint pen. And if I see something I really like, I'll take one of my brush pens and just kind of go over it and say okay that looks good and then start laying out the pencil work on my big paper now I say big paper this is 11 by 17 inch comic book style paper and this particular sheet is uh, Cranston uh, some Cranston products I don't use but this one I kind of like this has a vellum surface, so it's not the hard, smooth surface. This one's a little softer, more vellum type surface, which is really great for the ink I use because it really sucks up the ink and it gets pretty black, as you can see, which is great because on a hard surface paper, uh, sometimes it gets a little um, grayish. Now they they say this is smooth surface, but it really isn't. It's a little it's a little softer than the, than most hard surfaces. Like uh, Strathmore, their hard surface is so hard that the ink tends to stay on top of the paper, and you can do like scratch effects and whatnot almost. Anyways, uh, again, eleven by seventeen fanboy comic book art boards. You know, oh yeah, they gotta give it. A goofy name to make you really want to buy it. Uh, Strathmore makes a similar Strathmore makes a similar paper that's uh, Bristol uh, and it, they all have this blue markings that tell you what the live area is and all that. Okay so next up is I use F&W inks this is an acrylic ink. It dries largely waterproof, which means that you really have to be sure to clean your brushes very well using a brush cleaner. Uh, otherwise, it'll ruin your brushes. As for brushes, I'm using Winsor Newton uh, Series 7 brushes. This is a number four. I actually used a number two for this. Uh, a lot of times I use a number three or a number two. Once in a while I'll use a four if I have larger fills. And then my final fills, especially over big areas, I'll actually use a Q-tip 
just to not beat up the brushes too much. Um, a good friend of mine, Mick Gray, who's a professional comic book inker, reminded me of Copec SP lining pens. I've been using other ones for a while and wasn't really thrilled with them. He reminded me of these and I had a couple laying around. These are great because they have a refillable canister. You can just pop that canister out and put in a new ink cartridge and you're good to go. Uh, the little tips inside are also replaceable. So if you wear out a tip, you can just replace the tip. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, I mentioned fixing white highlights and whatnot. I tend to use uh, Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. Uh, sometimes I use other things such as uh, Poshka paint pens, which are acrylic based. Um, I don't use those a lot because they're not waterproof. Uh, a lot of, well, actually, a lot of these whites are not waterproof. Uh, this is very white when you get it laid down right, so it it will cover. Okay, so that's pretty much all the tools I used for this particular piece. And uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Oh, one thing I'll mention really quickly is I use hardboard. And the reason I use hardboard is so I can just tape it down. And if I need to work on something else, I can just put it aside and work on something else. And while it's on the hardboard, I can maneuver it and whatnot any way I need to in order, in, in order to, you know, work a lot nice and smooth and get things looking right. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, even with the crash of the camera. And uh, anyways, we'll see you on the next video. I hope you'll subscribe and like this video. Maybe make a few comments. See you later.